Good afternoon. All the papers are here, as well as the new MRI. Let's go. Wait, stop here. Please, stop the car. Why? What happened? Did you forget something? No, no. I... I've never left this place. I just don't remember anything aside from this village. <laughs> it feels so weird. Then get out of the car. Get out now. What's wrong with you? That's what I'm thinking. What is wrong with me? What made me listen to a man like you who acts so weird and strange? Get out of my car now! You wouldn't understand because you don't have a son who wants a miracle. All you're doing is giving me false hope. He understands and he knows that there is hope. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know what? I am such a fool to get my hopes up. What am I going to do when they tell me that it's impossible? I knew it. We should have known for sure before saying it to Chomka. And that's the reason why we're going to the city now. We'd better not be late. I don't see any grounds for changing the diagnosis. Please take a look at the MRI. I checked the doctor's diagnosis. It's enough. So that's it? What a great healer you are. Let's go. Valera, hold on, please. The diagnosis was established based on the vertebral fracture, but due to the spinal cord swelling, doctors couldn't see the whole picture. Let me show you. Please, take a look at the x-ray. Here, take a look. The x-ray was done a year and a half ago, and this was taken yesterday. Do you see the difference? It is possible that the spinal cord wasn't damaged. It's kind of hard to say just by comparing these two x-rays. We must hold MRI and fully examine the affected area first. Yes, exactly. And if we're going to analyze this, we can tell that the skin is getting more sensitive again. So the surgery can't be put off any longer. As far as I can tell, um, there's no full atrophy of the muscle tissue. And because the person is old, we can surely expect a quick recovery. You know what? I think you're a neurosurgeon. Oh, no, I'm not. Mr. Chernikov, I'll give you another option. Listen closely. There's one good hospital here with the Department of Neurosurgery. It has world-renowned doctors. They can do even the most complicated operations. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, too. We are going to prepare Dennis for the operation. An aneurysm of cerebral vessels has ruptured, which caused arterial hemorrhaging. I don't understand anything. Oh, that's my fault. My husband keeps telling him he should drop his stupid work because it wouldn't do him any good, but I thought... Ma'am, I know you're worried, but for Dennis, the most important thing right now is the surgery. Do you think he'll recover? You see, you actually lost a lot of time, and I'm sorry, but I don't think it's possible, ma'am. I know they always fall, and I thought it's okay. But in this case, he suddenly felt dizzy, sick. Listen, you need to sign the written consent to the surgical intervention. But look, it says here, how complications are possible. Don't worry, ma'am, it's just on paper. You can trust that our department will do everything we can to save your son. And whatever you do, I can't file any complaints. This is the law, so you have to sign it. As he opens the doors, the little birdie takes off, and when her mother opens her eyes, an ostrich immediately runs past the yard. Cut it, Egor. Why don't you just tell me that you're alone tonight and invite me over so we can hang out? Hello? Marina? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, miss. My name is Olga. I'm a journalist who was recently operated on by Dr. Pavel Andreev. Hello, 
Olga. Hello, Marina. I'm happy that you've agreed to meet me. Well, that's because you've intrigued me. And also, my father doesn't usually share my number. Come in, please. To be honest, it wasn't that easy to get your number. Dr. Andreev actually, almost, saved my life. Thanks to him, I'm alive. And I'm able to share his incredible work with others. You said you can help me find Pavel, is that right? I can. I want to. I have connections in every region. Editorial offices, journalists. Trust me, they have a knack for uncovering way more than the police ever could. I just need to know the area of search. In that way, I can figure out from where I can start. Well, this is the area. Uh, no. Over there. <clears throat> These are the routes of all trains passing through the town. Pavel could finally arrive at any station. I already checked some of them, but it was useless. I'm going to use all my connections in this area. We will check all towns and villages, every single hospital. Marina, I promise to do my best. I won't let you down. Okay, have a nice day. As for Tiomka, the news is excellent. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, we all know that the operation was successful. How would you evaluate your efforts? Well, in fact, I'm not really a nurse surgeon, but... What's going on? All Journalists have arrived. Was taken and all the, the dirty operation. boots. About the They're asking about that man who's had you drilled. Good to hear I've washed your gown. He can put it on if you like. Excuse me, may I? It's I'm amazing sorry. that you've managed to pull this off. How were you able to stay focused and help a patient with a severe head trauma in such challenging situations? Well, it's my duty as a doctor. Of course I had to take risks, but the experience is crucial. <sighs> I'm not a slave here. It's all the same every time. No Master. matter what I do, I'm always wrong. What? I have some good news. Things are getting better. They sent us to a hospital. Let's go. Chomka and I are looking into it. Dad, I found the website of the hospital. Look, they have a photo gallery here. Okay, Chumka, try to find out if they have a neurosurgery department. Mm. Here. Oh, it's their head of the department, Dr. Semyonov. Yeah. And here's the list of the doctors. Look, let's uh -huh. see. His face is kind of unhappy. How many operations has he done? Alexei's going to help us with the email. We still have to wait. Dad actually says that Alexei was told that the operation could be done right Chumka, here. Chumka, my dear, oh, don't yeah. worry. I'm not worried, Mom. Okay, I'm going to call on my friend Vova. I'll be right back. Okay, but take care. Do you think it'll be all right? Let's wait for an answer first. When Alexei and I were going to the hospital, I almost changed my mind halfway. But why? Because I thought, what if Chumka gets disappointed by now? I don't want to give him any false hope. Also, we're not yet even sure if they'll agree to do the operation. Let's just wait. Maxim, Maxim, wait up! Come here, quick! What happened? It's your patient, Dennis. He's now awake, but he's acting strange now. He's even scared the nurse. <sighs> those specials! They're all please, in the drop! Relax, just I relax. said specials! They're all in Easy the drop! Sir. Please, just calm down. Lita, find the neurologist. The one who consulted Dr. Strelnikov, and then bring her here. He's running after the tail, and Easy. the safety wire is for the ellipse. Yes. It's the safety wire. It's smiling for the ellipse. Dennis, I'm going to ask you some simple questions. And then you're going to try to answer a yes or no. You got it? It's Asia? Of course. Of course. <sighs> 
Sunny, do you recognize me? Dear, I'm your mother. The wind and the white wall. Are your complications? What have you done to him? Your son's behavior alarms you. It's understandable. However, there is nothing unexpected in it. Your son is still capable of hearing you perfectly well. However, the speech he perceives now sounds like random sounds to him. This is because the speech center had already been damaged. It needs to be repaired. We will take care of it. This disorder is called aphasia. But I can't even talk to him. He doesn't understand me. Right now, your son believes that he's answering all the questions, and he thinks that he does it correctly. And when you speak, he doesn't perceive the speech. He understands every emotion very well. Tell me, are you scared? It's acrylic engines. You heard him? He understands emotions. And whenever you want to talk to him, try to avoid telling lies. People with aphasia have inadequate reaction to lies. It's difficult to explain, but they can actually perceive slightest changes in mimics, as well as emotions, and they start to either shout or even laugh out loud whenever they hear lies. You know what? My husband just gave me a cute puppy. <laughs> you see now? He knows that I never had a husband. And I can't have a puppy right now. But we'll fix it, won't we? <laughs> One more thing. Whenever you talk to him, remember to write notes. He perfectly understands written speech, but you should also pronounce what you write. Take it, you're going to need it for sure. Get better soon. All right, Ginny. <sighs> Let's try it, dear. Don't look at me like that. Listen, Ivan, you should be ashamed of yourself. Tatiana, why should I be ashamed? Simply because you were so angry that you told Alexei he couldn't even try to help that man. And when the reporters show up today, you were just basking in your fame and enjoying all the attention they gave you. Alexei is the one who should get it. You don't deserve it. What's the big deal about it? They remember this case now, but will forget it by tomorrow. We must protect this clinic's image. Had I told them the truth, I would have mentioned that we actually use regular drills to perform surgeries on patients' heads and it's nurses, not the surgeons, who handle the whole procedure. This clinic will be shut down. Who would be responsible if that patient died back then? It's not Alexei, it did me me. Are you a doctor? What? Oh, it's nothing. So are you a doctor? If you're a doctor, then you're a doctor. If not, then not. Your arm has been going numb. Let's go. So you're the doctor they're talking about, who has appeared out of the blue in the village. Yes, I am. Look at the finger. Is it true that you don't have a degree? Can you not turn your head? No, I have a headache. I took a pill an hour ago, but it doesn't help. Mm -hmm. What about a degree? My father heals people and so do I. We'd better talk about you. You often suffer from headaches, throbbing pain, which spreads from the neck to the temple. Sometimes arms and fingers go numb. Yeah, I know. It's because of hypertension. No, it's not hypertension. <sighs> hey, doctor, I'll tell you what. I actually didn't go here to get checked out. I'm here to, to do an inspection on behalf of the administration. We just got a signal about this nurse named Koleshnikov. Koleshnikov is knowledgeable and work closely with the chief doctor to treat patients and all that. That's true. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're saying you're not going to deny it, huh? Should I? 
You know better than me. Actually, it's true. Let me remind you that our task is to ensure that all the citizens here will only be treated by qualified professionals. Do you have a headache? No, I don't. Thank you. You won't fool me with those sweet talks. Are you a doctor or a nurse? Do you have a degree or not? No degree. I'm a nurse. All right. And the doctor isn't at his office when he should be. Can you do me a favor? I want you to let him know that he's going to lose his job because of this. You need to see a neurologist ASAP. You have vertebral artery syndrome. Blood can't be delivered to the brain. I told you. It's because of hypertension. Don't tell me what to do because you know nothing. Your job is to wash the floor. Wash the floor. But sir, the floor here is clean. Well, how can I help you? Are you crazy, Egor? No, I wouldn't say so. It's just, it's a sort of an experiment. I want to write an article about the fascia, and they badly need your help, so please okay, help me. Okay, let's go. Please, come in. Uh, please stand right there so that he can see you well. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to ask you some simple questions, and you need to give me honest answers. What is your favorite flower? A tulip. Okay. What is your favorite music genre? I like classic. <laughs> okay, it's pop music. <laughs> Tell me, are you in love? No. <laughs> Do you love him? Do you love Bontarenko? No. <laughs> Excuse me, Dr. Bondarenko. Hey, what's going on here? Thank you, Fisha patient. I'm sorry. Uh, come in, take a seat. May I know what are your complaints? Do you think what your nurse is doing is acceptable? Is this behavior normal for you? When you came here, you had a severe headache. My headache has nothing to do with my complaints about him. Do you still have it? I think I don't. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Let's fire Kolesnikov. Hold on, let me call him. Oh, by the way, let me show you this. It's his job application form. Shouldn't he write for this Hold on. Wait a second. You know, that's not what I mean. But sir, you've mentioned that a while ago. A nurse without a degree examined you, not a doctor. Do you really have an army of doctors here? No, but you had complaints. Oh yes, complaints, complaints. And I can see that. You're happy about it. What's the syndrome that he mentioned to me? It's called vertebral artery syndrome. I'm going to give you a prescription. Is it deadly? Hmm, oh, well... To be honest, if it wasn't diagnosed in time, then yes, it could end up being fatal. Diagnosing it requires more than just a degree, but also intuition and talent. You can't do without it. For your information, I was sent here by the city administration. Some people have a bunch of complaints. Hmm. Shall we react on this? That's what I'm doing now, so don't you worry. I'm going to write a nice report in which I'll say that a doctor has examined me. And the prescription was also given by a doctor. It means that I checked everything firsthand, so to speak. That's it. Have a nice day. And what about the complaint? Complaint? Listen, I think you should keep your Kolesnikov. It's true that a degree doesn't define you as a person. You're right about that. Hmm. What a rich imagination. <laughs> Excuse me. Sergey, hello there. Yeah? Are you assigned to operate Savdeyev? The athlete who got hit? Yes, Yeah, right. that's me. Will you allow me to assist the operation? What do you ask? 
Well, it's because to me personally, this case is of particular interest. Um, his prefrontal cortex is damaged, and the zone is very interesting and little studied. Are you hoping to make a discovery? His consciousness is going to change, but I have no idea how much. The nature's ingenuity is unfailing, so what does that mean? Tell me. So sentimental. All right then, come to the operating room in 30 oh, minutes. thank you very much. You're welcome. Just sign here. That woman's personality is so interesting. Tell me about it. <laughs> Hello, my brave champion. You really scared I'm, us. I'm so sorry for this. I didn't want to disappoint you. Where is Misha? He must have been terrified now. We shouldn't have taken him to the game. Misha's okay now. He's fine, and he's with your father. So please don't worry about him, okay? How are you? My doctor, look. He's awake now. Can you please give him some painkillers or Dasha, something to ease the pain? stop it. Doctor, tell her I'm fine. Everything's going right, to be Right, a nurse will right. come here shortly and get him ready for the operation. Mm-hmm. Uh, the operation will take about three and a half hours, so you'd better go home now and have no, some no, rest. No, 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 doctor. I'll wait here. I'll stay here with him. Okay, but not here. You can, uh, stay at the corridor. All right. It'll be okay. You hear me? I love you, dear. I love you too, my dear. Dasha, wait. Everything's going to be all right. I'll be fine, so don't worry, okay? All right, let's begin. Come on, Here's let's go. The scissor. Mm hmm. Oh, Dr. Varlamova. The frontal bone is mostly intact, as well as the frontal cortex. So, what did you expect to see here? Dr. Strelnikov, trust me in my experience. Your patient's behavior is going to change quite Does. soon, I'm very sure of that. She's right. I read that after such injuries, people may change their habits. Mm -hmm. Their mm -hmm. personality changes, even their IQ. Mm -hmm. What? Seriously? Yes. I'm telling you, many people have become geniuses after suffering a head injury. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. With just one hit, <laughs> they can master the violin. What if every hit on the head <laughs> makes a person genius? Is that possible? Well... All right, that's enough. Unfortunately, we can't say yet because so far, there hasn't been much research on how post-traumatic genius works. But who knows, right? Mm, yeah. You neurologists are scary people. Dr. Strelnikov. Yes? Uh, may I have a look? Please do. This is interesting. These are old papers. Yvonne asked me to bring them to you. Mm-hmm. How about this? Oh, this is the official application for Tiomka's operation. Finally, you've made it. Yes, it's quite a good chance. Well done, Pavel. What's wrong? Sorry to bother you, but as you can see, it's it's my heart. It hurts. What, your heart? It hurts? I think I'm dying now. All right, please calm down. Let's go. Pavel, can you examine him? Okay. No, 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 no. Not him, please. Let it be Ivan. Or maybe I should call the president's doctor. Let's go. Over there. Come on, let's go. Come on, Valera. So when did it start? Just yesterday. I thought it would pass, but this happened. Take off your shirt, please. Okay, take a deep breath. Oh, stop! It's so cold! Just breathe in, sir. My heart is right here in my chest. Just do what I say. <sighs> mm-hmm. Okay, lie on the table. Will you start the treatment now? Have you been exposed to cold? <clears throat> yes, I have. This is no good at all for you. It means that your body cannot fight the disease. What kind of disease? Your body can't fight because the immune system is too weak. That's why your heart suffers. Are you Just kidding me? Just lie down. Me? Don't stand. 
Well, Doctor, am I going to die? You're not gonna die because we'll save you. Oh, thank goodness. This is my guess. Valera, you have to stay in the hospital. But for how long? I don't know. It may be really serious. Oh, no, We're going no. to take all the tests and check everything. <sighs> don't worry, Ivan will do all the tests on you tomorrow. So I'll put you to Ward 2 now, okay? Uh -huh. And please call your family and ask to bring your stuff, okay? Okay. Please don't be stubborn, just lie down. Oh. Alexei, come here. Please take the patient to Ward 2 and assist him. And why is he transported on a carriage like a prince? <laughs> I put him in isolation. With neuralgia. Hmm. <laughs> Could you explain to me what's going on here? Oh, Ivan. I just couldn't take it seriously. I'm so fed up with his imaginary illnesses. He's absolutely healthy. He can work fingers to the bone. His wife must be struggling. Okay. I'll go tell him he can be discharged now. It's fine. Let him stay. It's okay. It could give our clinic a good image. Exactly. <laughs> Come in now. Happy with what you did? You two scared the man. Anyway, if he wants to be sick, let him stay. Tomorrow I'm going to tell him about his neuralgia. Yeah, Alexei. I'm giving you the list of our patients for today. You need to do the rounds. Mm hmm. I can go with you. Mm -hmm. So who's next on our list? Tell me. Is it Zinoviva? Uh-huh. Shall I go on my own? No, no. This case is complicated. We need to go together. Mm hmm You seem really down lately. I don't even see you smile. Really? Is she a brunette or blonde? Who? Who? Don't you really know who she is? Tell me, is her hair long or short like me? Her hair's long. Do you love her? Stop it. <laughs> How about me? Do you like me a bit? I do. Really? A lot. <laughs> hmm. Then you must kiss me. Just one kiss and I promise I won't bother you again. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, come on. I really need it. Please kiss me. Okay, I got it. I wanted to find out if you really love her or not, and now I see that you do. So yeah, you can go now. Take it. Go on, with a list of patients. Do it yourself. Leave me alone! Tatiana! Hey, what happened? Are Nothing. you okay? I'm fine. Is your leg broken? No, it's not. Well, you know better, of course, because you're a doctor. Come on, let's get you in the car. I'll drive you home. What the heck is wrong with me? Do you think I'm flawed or wasted? No, of course not. You're neither flawed nor wasted. For me, you're perfect. You're the best. I wouldn't have chosen. I said leave me alone. Give me a break, will you? What do you want from me? Do me a favor and stop stalking me. Don't you have your own life or what? Why are you yelling? Because I'm sick and tired of you following me around. You're so annoying. Very well, then.
Hey. Did something happen? No. I just can't wait to walk again. I forgot how much I wanted to recover after the accident, and now I'm ready. But if I'm going to be honest, I'm scared. Oh, I was actually wondering who's talking here. Why don't you invite Alexei to come in? Well, I just came to say that Ivan will send a request to the hospital. This won't take long, so don't worry. Thank you. Tyomka. Don't be scared. I'll help you. Tomka wants some tea. I also cook some pancakes. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, okay. I'll tell your dad about the request. You wanted to see me? Yes. Sergey, have you seen the MRI? Yes, he has a spine injury. So you're talking about the boy from that village, right? Yes, and I think his case is possible for operation. What does Semyonov say? He says we have to accept his request, examine and operate him. Well, uh, so what's the problem? The thing is that we already reached a limit for state-funded operations. And I don't think these guys from the village are financially capable. So money's our problem. The problem here is that Semyonov forgot where the money comes from and how subsidies are distributed. And this, this is not my idea. This is about the state budget. And at the same time, Semyonov isn't the official head of the department. Listen, I'm not going to play his games. We have limits, and we have laws. Dr. Kazachenko, because of you, we have these two now. So you make the decision and we'll do what you say. Hey, my brave champion. How are you? I'm feeling the same. Doctor says the operation was successful. Is that true? Yes. It happened so quickly. Wait. Hmm. Why are you still crying now? Please don't cry. I'm just a bit overwhelmed. But don't worry about me, I'm totally fine. Do you have any pain? Like, in your body? My head... My head hurts. It's because you're still under anesthesia. Don't worry, it'll be gone soon. I know. I'm not worried at all because you're an expert when it comes to headaches. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get it. I know for a fact that you always have a headache. Whenever mom arrives, you have a headache. And every time you get a job offer, you feel dizzy. It's amazing. Uh, dear, I'll stay with you until the morning. Hmm? Until you recover. Okay? You'd better go home. If only you really knew how great it is to spend at least a day alone. I love you so much, my love. I love you with all my heart. But I don't love you. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, but mine. I realized I don't like women. <laughs> I don't like all women because they annoy me. You really can't imagine how awful it is to kiss and hug you, go to bed with you every night, and pretend to be a brave champion. I'm quite surprised it's so easy to tell the truth. I didn't know it was this simple. Dr. Strelnikov! Dr. Strelnikov! He must have gone to grab a coffee. Has something happened? Yes, it has. He removed part of his brain. Now he's saying weird things about me. He isn't himself. Do you understand? I understand. In the meantime, you should calm down first, okay? Take this. 
I assisted in the operation and it was successful. Your husband's going to recover soon. Is he? He just told me awful things that gave me instant goosebumps. I asked him how he is and then he... I can't even say it. Your husband has undergone an operation on the brain. He just regained consciousness. That's why he's still disoriented now. It seems like he's taken a magical truth serum, you know? He told me earlier... He's gay. Listen to me. You're just exhausted. You need to go home now. You should sleep. Have some rest. Tomorrow you come back here... To see your husband, you'll talk, it will be different. So do you think he might be hallucinating? Well, I'm not sure. I think his injury really gave him the courage to open up about things he wasn't allowed to say before. What do you mean? Nobody forbids him from saying anything. Um... Something that is forbidden in his life. But now he's ready to talk about it, his true feelings and desires. And now he doesn't care anymore what other people will think about it. Does it mean... He's really gay? But I'm pregnant. We're gonna be having a baby. Well, Dasha... Mm, uh, maybe... For now, he really thinks that he's gay. And maybe it's not true. All his life, he thought that being gay is wrong and unacceptable. <sighs> Now he can finally say what he really wants and how he feels. Maybe he just wanted to say what he wants in life or what he thinks he wants. But what shall I do now? You don't have to do anything, as in nothing. Just wait a little longer. You know, fear of getting caught in moral rules will surely come back to haunt him. And this might put him in a moral cage. You'll see. That's it. So he's going to learn how to tell lies? No. He'll definitely forget. But I won't forget it. If you can promise me one thing, that you won't be coming back to our home again, then I'm not going to tell our children any more about what happened. Wait, let me explain. Dasha, please come back! Come on, listen to me! Dasha, please! Dasha, come back! Dasha, please come back! It's unexpected, so I grabbed anything I could. Just come in. I brought you some cupcakes. Why didn't you tell me? I don't get it. Why did you hide this from me? We discussed these gray doctors, remember? Do you get that things might have turned out differently if you had told me sooner? Mm, well... I can explain that to you. So what's your alibi this time, Sergei? What can you explain to me now, huh? <sighs> so what do we do now? Go ahead, tell me. <clears throat> you should have told me everything, Sergei. That Pavel is a great doctor, and he does these operations. Now I understand why he disappeared. But if you had told me about it earlier, it would be easier for me to find him. Did you get my point? How did you know? How did I find it? Remember Fourth Hospital, where you and Pavel were interns? I saw your old photo. And then I found a man who... who told me everything about Bones' operation. And he directly pointed at the great doctor in the photo. 
He pointed at Pavel. <sighs> yeah, that's it. You know, Marina... <sighs> if you didn't love Pavel so much, and if he wasn't my friend, I guess I would have told you everything about it. Does it matter? Still, you should have told me the truth. What do you think would happen after I told you? Would things be different? Would you believe me or not? Well, if... <sighs> That's the truth. That's it. <clears throat> to be honest, I wasn't ready to hear it. It really hurts. Forgive me, Marina. I'm really sorry. Hello? Yes. Can we talk? Yes. This is Olga. I was told about a man who is currently in a hospital in Avdiev. Uh, where? In Avdiev, it's a small town from your list. It's located 120 miles from Rysk. He has amnesia. He matches the description. He even had no shoes. His situation is critical. We must go now. Okay. Okay, I'll pick you up in a while. All right, I'll prepare now. Thank you. Dima, stop it! <laughs> That's not funny. Can't you see? My heart and my nerves are Just really... Just one harder nerve. Uh, screw you! Use your heart that I brought sweets for you. Take it. Enjoy. Uh, no, 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 don't stand it, bro. I just came here to say to you. Is Tatiana here? Yes. But you have to knock first. Why so? Just do it. Knock first. Okay then, but why? Just in case. Because of Alexei? Okay, I got it. I've been thinking. What if it's just a coincidence? Maybe he was smashed by a car and he stayed in this hospital. We never know what happened, right? Marina, do you want me to go by myself or what? No, 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 don't worry. I'll do it. I'm fine. I'm ready. You've already warned me about his condition. That's why... I want to know for sure rather than be in doubt. Ah, come in, ladies. This isn't a hospital. We're not mistaken, are we? Yes. Marina. <sighs> well, I didn't know how to tell you. Tell me what? I was just told that... What? We... No. We didn't no. make it. I'm sorry, no. we couldn't. No! It was a matter no. of hours. No. 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 He was really no. close no. to the edge. No! no. <laughs> but we're here to make sure, right? He 
Here. He was identified as Pavel. <laughs> no, it's not him. Calm down. That's not Andreev. Please calm down, Marina. Are you sure it's not him? Yes, of course. Calm down, let's go. Hey, ladies, you need to sign these papers. Marina, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. What do you want? Where's Tatiana? Did you break up with her? Or you just hit it and quit it? Let me ask you this. Do you still have any other fantasies? Because I'm tired of it. You know, man, I feel sorry for uh -huh. you. I see. You know the worm of conscience, uh -huh. and you... Oh, what? What now? What did you I do? You didn't know what you did! Yes, I don't get you it! You really don't get it! Are you being dumb or what? Of course you don't remember anything now, because you keep saying you have amnesia! Tell me, Kolesnikov, is this what you really want? You know that she's my girlfriend. Have you forgotten? I should have left you in that stupid train. Tomas. What? What do you say? Go home or I'll kill you. What the heck did you say? Which train? Tell me, which train is it? That night we were unloading the train. Then we found you in one of the rail cars. You were covered with blood. We checked your pulse, but we couldn't feel it. So we thought you were already dead. We were afraid that they might accuse us because we had an inspection. So we put you in the van and took it to the forest. But we didn't know you were still alive. Son, are you okay there? <sighs> yes, I'm okay. Exceptional, not like everyone else. 